Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Trains Automation Destination. So in our previous uh, lecture of BTT Cucumber series, we discussed about how to integrate page object model in BTT Cucumber to write clean code. Now we are going to discuss about how we can utilize single tenant factory design pattern for driver initialization in BTT Cucumber. So we have already covered series on design patterns for automation QS wherein we discussed about singleton as well as factory design patterns. In case you want to take a look and you are not aware on design patterns, I'll request you to please go back to those videos uh, which I'll be sharing in the description section and it will help you gain some understanding on design patterns and it will help you understanding this particular lecture as well. So without further delay, let me jump on to the code side. So this was the program that we were uh, we are using since starting in the BTD Cucumber series. So if you remember this particular line was moved to this hooks section right wherein we were initializing driver right and then after the control was going to step definition wherein we were like uh, initializing we have integrated pelvic model we have initialized object of login and we have entered username and password and uh, clicked on login and then after verified the uh, products. Now what I want is I want to separate out this particular layer from outside the hooks means i want to use it within the hooks but i don't want to take care of initialization i want to use some ready-made solution that is design pattern so i'm going to uh, discuss about singleton design pattern so this is the singleton design pattern which we have already discussed uh, in one of the design pattern video so singleton design pattern is uh, this is a class we create a private constructor uh, this is a private constructor but once we have created the private constructor what we need we need one static method so that we can call uh, uh, the method of a class using the class name so using this what we are trying to do we are trying to create the instance of this particular class so it will create instance once only this is some logic which will help create one uh, instance only once we have created the instance of it what we are doing we are first trying to uh, create a driver because we need to let uh, this particular driver know which type of driver we want to create so what we are doing we are simply passing browser is equal to chrome and we are uh, doing the same thing so whatever we were we were doing in hoax same thing we are doing here now uh, this is about singleton now the next thing is factory design pattern so for factory design pattern what we do we create a factory kind of mechanism wherein uh, if you go this is a browser manager interface i have created one browser manager interface i have defined one method get driver this chrome manager and firefox manager both are defining this particular or implementing that particular browser manager class this is a factory design pattern in case you want to gain more understanding please go back to my factory design pattern video so i'm uh, simply for chrome um, for chrome manager i'm initializing chrome driver and i'm returning the driver of chrome similarly for firefox i'm doing for firefox right now um, the now the time is to change or remove this singleton part uh, like this particular part from the singleton design pattern to this so what i will simply do i will simply replace this particular code with the uh, uh, driver manager dot uh, so uh, let me keep it as it is so that you will be able to understand so driver manager dot get browser manager and browser we are already getting from upside right and uh, then uh, what we had what we need to do we need to get driver right so b what we have done previously we were writing this particular line of code here now what we are doing we go, we are going here because the uh, browser is chrome now we will go here and the code is written here so using this factory design pattern we are uh, like streamlining this process once we get this driver we need to store it in driver right so this is what i have achieved so this is what i have done i have integrated singleton with factory design pattern to make it more readable and to make it more optimized right now the next thing is i need to uh, call this particular driver because so far we have created this uh, singleton design pattern but we haven't used it so far so let me come to the hooks part uh, what i will do simply i need to replace this particular line of code with that code so i'll simply do because this was the class we cannot create an object of create driver because that is a singleton so what i will do i will simply create call create driver dot get instance because as i mentioned that we have created one static method and static method in java can be called uh, even without creation of object right so get instance dot set driver so now i need to let it know which because 
you meant you are aware that we were passing browser so what we will do simply i will simply use string browser is equal to chrome we can read it from the chrome uh, properties file as well but right now i'm hard coding it so i'm going to remove so uh, i'm keeping it for now now once i have done this i will simply use this right so this particular case what it will do it will create an instance and it will assign right now i need to get it as well so how i will get it so there is a getter method also i have written so i have created a, a reference variable so once i am setting it using that particular thing uh, initialization is taken place now the term uh, turn is to get it so how i can simply get it i can simply write create driver dot get instance dot get driver right now we got this driver what i need to simply do i need to capture it somewhere in the reference variable right so once we got it um, this particular line of three code will work similar to these two codes right but i'm not taking care of these things anymore right and now the magic is previously what we were doing we were initializing driver here we, we were keeping it static right but there is no need anymore of keeping it static uh, why because what we were doing previously we were uh, defining it static and we were using it in step definition but singleton has power once we set up the driver we don't need we can get it anywhere wherever we write this particular line of code we will be able to get it we will get the same instance so i will simply go to login.feature i'll go to the step definition you will start seeing because we are unable to import that driver so what we will do in this case we will go here and uh, web drivers drivers is equal to create drivers dot get instance dot get driver right so using this uh, first of all what i need to do i need to create a reference variable also once because this is a global private uh, web driver driver right and now i will use this particular driver right so we are sorted we don't need static uh, uh, import or something it will work same as it is so i will simply do one thing i'll uh, give it uh, some other name uh, design patterns this time because we are discussing about design pattern so i'll simply uh, copy this and uh, go to ui test tunnel we are the runners i'm going to ui test tunnel. i'm putting it here and i'll simply run it so the test case should execute without any impact so let us see So you see the same flow is taking place it is able to log in and everything is same as it is right so this is how we can utilize singleton and factory design pattern this is how we can incorporate design pattern within bdd cucumber or in any framework so thank you for watching uh, please uh, feel free to comment in the comment section in case you have any queries or doubts Th thank you for watching once again in case you like my video i would request you to please like share and subscribe